It's not exactly sacred ground, but this school in West Sacramento rents space to a church every Sunday for worship services. And on October 23rd, as the congregation from New Discovery Christian Church was praying, a four-year-old child went to the restroom and was sexually assaulted, according to police, by a fellow member of the church. It was a shock to all of us, and we're going to do whatever we can to, to, to be there for everybody, and we just wanted to let them know. William Mendoza is the worship leader from New Discovery who was tasked with calling families to let them know about the alleged child sexual assault. He has since spoken with the victim's mother. I, I know she's not only distraught, she's very upset and angry, and rightfully so. Um, yeah, that was pretty evident to me. Mendoza but, yeah, says it's it, also it, evident it, to him that the man accused of assaulting the four-year-old, 39-year-old Release Wheeler of West Sacramento, is entitled to his day in court. Wheeler was arrested on October 27th and charged with sexual assault on a minor under the age of 10, as well as kidnapping. Uh, that was the shocking part to me because um, seemed to be very genuine, very sincere. He says Wheeler was homeless before joining the church three or four years ago and has since played an integral role organizing the church's events where they go out and feed the homeless. And even our justice system says innocent until proven guilty. But some parents have a bad gut feeling. One responded to Fox 40 through text message saying, I am deeply concerned if it is true because my children rode on the bus with him every weekend and it turns my stomach thinking about it. As difficult and as uh, tragic as uh, in our society we would look upon something like this as very devastating, uh, I have to with, withhold anything and uh, as far as my feelings or my thoughts are concerned except that you know, we pray and we ask God to just bring the justice, the truth out. So that's where I stand. Um, were you at the service that day when this... I was, but I had no idea.